All right, we're in Old Town, Las Vegas. They have closed down a part of the Old Town, the Fremont District, for us to drive this. Behind me, the brand new Mercedes-Benz EQC. There's been an EQA and an EQB. This is gonna be the first all-electric Mercedes SUV on the market, and you can look for it at the end of 2020, maybe. It's just arrived in the United States for the first time. The German-based automaker originally revealed the EQC last year in Sweden, and it will be the fourth luxury SUV to hit mainstream automotive buyers in the United States, after the Tesla Model X, the Jaguar I-Pace, and the Audi e-tron. The EQC 400 will have 402 horsepower. That's a huge amount for a vehicle the size of a compact sedan. But more importantly, how far will it go on a single charge of electricity? This is still somewhat of a mystery. Under German calculations, it will do around 279 miles on a single charge. But once that is recalculated for American consumers, it could be somewhere around 220 to 230 miles on a single charge, which is right in line with other luxury SUVs on the market. So what do we know about the car? It looks pretty much like a normal SUV. It shares some of the architecture and parts with the Mercedes-Benz GLC. The main goal in developing this all-electric SUV SUV was to make it a Mercedes, and on that, the company has succeeded. On the inside, a lot of features taken from consumer electronics, including the new MBUX system. It contains artificial intelligence and allows you to have a conversation with the car just by saying the words, hey, Mercedes. You can have a conversation much in the same way as you can with Siri or Google. The charging rate is pretty impressive. You can get 80% of a charge in 40 minutes at a high-capacity charger, which means a lunch break on a long journey home would allow you to refuel your chariot. The one thing that impressed me most is the immediate power. Quite a shock when my guide put his foot down on the accelerator and we shot forward down a back street in Las Vegas. The other noticeable difference between this vehicle and a regular SUV is how quiet it is. Almost like a distant whir of a sewing machine. However, this Mercedes is a long way from your nanny's garment stitcher. Depending on the price, this is definitely something I'd consider in my driveway. More information on the car and pricing when it becomes available. I'm Nick Myers.